Hello everybody, welcome back. Ross here with more Blue Fire. But Ross, I hear you ask, didn't you beat this game already? Practically 100%? Why yes. Yes I did. Also, Ross, didn't you talk constant smack about this game? Okay, I may not have been the nicest to this game when I first played it. But if I remember correct, I did say I could tell it's solid in design, just not execution. It did not play well. I'm just gonna put it bluntly. However, this game has been updated several times since release. And so, and it even got DLC, so new content as well. So, in a Metroidvania-ish move, I replayed this. It's so good now. When it, at the state it was in release, while I did generally enjoy it, I can't say I would have recommended this game to friends. Now, yes, get it. They have fixed pretty much all the problems. Blue Fire is so good now. And it's nice to see that the devs actually did, you know, acknowledge and address and fix the issues that the game had, so... Is it Roby or Robbie? Roby Studios, Robbie Studios, however you say it. Mwah. Mm. Good job. This game went from eh, execution's a little lacking to oh yeah. Oh, I effing love this game now. It's so good. So this is my original file. When I replayed it, I pretty much found all the stuff that I missed originally. And then I went back to my first file and, you know, did another go around and clean up everything that I missed the first playthrough. I slept so hard on the Storm Sentry Spirit. I did not use it my first playthrough because I'm like, eh, it's probably just a tiny little boost and I should just get good with, you know, the standard dash length. As soon as you can get this, equip this bitch. It is not a little boost. This thing, like, doubles your dash distance. It's crazy. And then you have that with the secret double dash you can find in Fire Keep. Oh my god. And something I did miss in my first playthrough. I know I found the double dash. But it turns out there's a hidden triple jump as well. If you find all of the secret upgrades and stuff... Your maneuverability in this game gets ridiculous. And I love it. <clears throat> Something that is a tad annoying, though, is you saw I had two files, one 100%, and this main one's at like 98 something? 96.85. I've done everything except the DLC stuff, which we are about to get to. But the second file is at 100%. And this one's not. And like I said, I went back and I scooped up everything I missed. So I don't know why this one didn't go to 100. Whatever. It's 100%, I assure you. Maybe it's got something to do with this, because the void part of the journal got fucked up, and Orain saw is just like... blank, but you can see completed all souls found. So whatever. I even went back and redid this to see if that would, like, fill in the blank spot on the journal, but it didn't. So, but we've got a lot more voids now with the DLC. And considering how mad some of the base ones gave me, made me, I'm just gonna give the heads up warning to the rage now, because there's probably going to be rage. Let's just face the facts. I know what I'm like. If you watch me, you know what I'm like. I am an angry little man! Say I'm an angry big man. But anyways, what else, what else? Anything worth noting? Oh yeah, as part of the updates, the uh, wallets now all are evened out, because before it was 14,999, and all the wallets were like that, which was so annoying. <laughs> So they even them all out to be like 3,000, 6,000, 10,000, 15,000. And also, I remember on my first playthrough, I never got the last wallet, but I was still able to buy the best weapons, the Shadowcasters. On the replay, 
They upped the price of these things. You need this last wallet to afford them now. Also on stuff I missed in my first playthrough, there is a banana suit. I think it's actually found, yeah, in like the same area that the triple jump is. It's above the door to the Temple of Gods that leads to the Shadow Queen. So stupid. I don't even need to gather these anymore. So yep, enough faffing about and gushing about this game. And again, how good it is now. Let's march our butts to the DLC. And I, I can't take it seriously. Let's get the silver cloak, because I mean, come on. Some of those voids are brutal. Let's, let's enjoy our 100% prize. It's kind of low. Turn it up a tad. That's right, the title screen is so loud on this game, I forget that. So here it is. The new door, which I assume leads to the DLC. On my re... Part of why I replayed it is because I wanted to find the DLC, you know, like, naturally throughout the course of the game. But I eventually just went hunting for it later, and I even looked up on their website. I'm like, where is it? And they mentioned the new area was in Firekeep, and I'm like, okay, at least it's narrowed down where I need to look. I swear to God, on my replay, I mean, it obviously wasn't here in version 1.1, and 1.0, whatever. But I swear to God, on my replay, this door was not here. <laughs> Does it just spawn at some point? I wonder what the conditions are. So here we go. Into the first DLC for Bluefire, because they already confirmed there's going to be a second one. So here we go, into the Void of Sorrows. Alternate, probably good name, Void of Pain. Because I'm sure it's gonna be hard as dicks! I spent seven minutes going, alright. The Void Gate. Fancy. Alright, more blue fire, hell yeah. Like I said, I have been falling in love with this game, especially, like I said, since they updated and fixed all the problems. Which is more than I can say for some! <coughs> yes, I'm still mad. Wow, you have a lot of health. <laughs> Scrooge McDucking still works. Oh yeah, also my replay, and I heard these weren't in the first release too, so I guess I wasn't missing stuff. I, I like shakes, okay? I mean, look at it. Look at it. It's it's so it's so effing cute. But um I found some of these rubber duckies. I think this one was in the second dungeon. Uthus, whatever, the Water Temple. This one on top of the tower, the Temple of Gods. What was this a video of? Did the game glitch out? Like, they fixed hitboxes and, like, actual performance bugs and stuff. I- oh, I think I remember what this is. This door is weird, yeah. And I couldn't, I couldn't go forward or jump. That door is so weird. You have to, like, back away from it before you can jump again. Yeah, I remember now. That was odd. But that's literally the only spot it happens. Was this also some glitch shenanigans? What's this video? It'll generally be near the end. Ah, well. We ain't got time for this. Yeah, whatever. All right, my epic wall run. And a duck in the forest shrine. Did I find another Oh, yeah. One near that, like, the hardest void in the base game. Just floating in the water there. All right. Let's actually move forward with content, shall we? I've droned on long enough. D -d 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 I don't even need to break stuff. I'm full on heals and money. Oh, hey. The money counter isn't green anymore. Didn't it turn green before when it was full? Alright, 
now let's see if we can get a heal. Oh, right, I'm forgetting you can hold L to dash. Well, run, because... Use Guardian Soul. Hmm. Alright. Our path is determined. Boop. Boop. Alright, I'm gonna do something stupid. I still have the urge to collect stuff, even though I don't need it. Because I'll probably take less damage than I heal from this. Yeah. Yeah, see? Much better. Worth it. Ooh. What's in here? Hello, you spooky boys. Ow! Where am I at? Where am I? Like, Umber, which way are you going, Burrow? Some kind of laboratory here. What's this? Alright. much never did it my first playthrough. I've gotten not great, but decent at parrying. Although, to be fair, I'm pretty sure I remember having a lot of problems with parrying even working at all in the original. In the real, real, that version one. Yeah, like I said, the game handled a little fucky at first. Handle smooth as fuck now. A lot of contact damage. If I go through here on my hard file, I'm gonna have to be careful. Also, they changed the difficulty settings, it seems. Instead of easy, normal, hard, now it's like normal, hard, and very hard. So, this file, which was on normal, is now considered the hard mode, I guess. Soul of an ancient fire guard. to the big spooky floating thing. Hey, it's Vaughn again. That was your name, right? <clears throat> I didn't pay as so much attention to cutscenes in the second playthrough. I just kind of mashed A through dialogue. <laughs> <clears throat> this looks important. I still hate how, like, his blades clip through his robe sometimes. I'm talking about Umbra. Warrior, the time has come. You are now ready. To learn about the darkest part of our history. I don't remember what voice I originally gave you. Oh. This room is a symbol of a painful tragedy. Ghost Chains. It is known as the Void Gate. An ancient training ground to the Fire Guard. The origin of voids. Oh. This void behind me. It is known as the Void of Sorrows. All right, title drop. That's the end. Goodbye, everybody. It is a gate to a mysterious land that has been sealed for centuries. Long ago, many of our bravest warriors were trapped inside in a battle for Penumbra. Eight chains hidden deep inside the voids hold the seal together. However, a certain death awaits those who dare wander into these voids. Warrior, 
We shall break the chains that bind it. We shall release the sea and set those warriors free. Uh, what was the reason this seal was put up? Maybe we shouldn't fuck with it? The void of sorrows must be unchained. Hmm. They are waiting for us. New quest, the Void of Sorrows. Ow! Damn! I just figured it would be just like a wall. I didn't think it would hurt. Ow! Motherfucker! Should probably hit up that shrine. Before I go wandering and exploring and getting myself killed. Alright, well, that's that last blank spot on the fast travel. Let go! Yeah, that's the way we came in. The Void Gate. A link between voids. Training grounds for the fire guards. Keep farming till I have 999 Shadow Essex. The fence did not withstand the invasion. Shadows corrupt everything in their way. We are losing control. Sound effect of squeaking. Nice. Okay, what we got in here? Amaric's knowledge. Three star. I hear that pretty much. Well, probably just means in relation to the rest of the DLC, because I hear even the one star voids in this are br more brutal than any in the base game. Which is scary! <laughs> but I think I gotta collect void souls. So, it looks like I just can just focus on trying to reach the end. This place is pretty neat. All the a lot of the voids are pretty cool looking. Oh, it's the Mario time blocks. Is that a checkpoint? Are, are those things in these? That's both nice and also makes me more scared. Oh yeah, they also fixed the spin attack because it seems like if you tried to ever do anything, Besides just standing still, your spin attack wouldn't charge. And that was in the patch notes of one of the big updates. So... Covenant soul. Soul of the blood covenant is trapped inside. 
side quest, the fire guard door. <laughs> no extra health for these. I mean, I guess you get the covenant soul. Alright. First new void down. That was pretty easy. First try. Spooky. I don't know how I ended up with a key item ruby ore, because on my replay, I, as you saw, I got 100%, and, uh, this, this, I think this might have been a glitch from version 1. Because, <laughs> I mean, as, as I've shown, I did a full playthrough, and I showed a couple things, like with the journal and stuff. Collect the guardian door keys and open it to reveal the secret of the fire guard. Okay, so the keys are the side quest. And I guess the Blood Covenants are these. The main quest. Or what they're called? Covenant. Well, yeah, it is called Blood Covenant. Soul of a Blood Covenant. Hmm. Interesting. So, yeah, they said there were two new areas in this DLC in the patch notes. And a new boss fight, which I'm interested in. And they said it's our best one yet. And I've heard people talk about the DLC and like say, like, yes. The new boss fight is very good. It shits on all of the main game boss fights. And like, they weren't terrible, but the boss fights were not this game's strong suit. <clears throat> that said, it's cool to see they updated the first boss to make it just kind of a bit less boring and <laughs> lame. They actually gave it more of a timing pattern to its shockwaves, and they even gave it an, a new attack so it has more than, you know, one move. So yeah, this game has had a lot of work done. As I've said, it's good. It's good now. wall running. Use the super double dash and triple jump. Hell yeah. Checkpoint, I assume. while running now. I'm, I'm not saying no to this one. It's like, no, you're doing this one, asshole. Ow! I can't see! Alright, camera kind of sucked balls there. Sure where to go. Maybe I should equip that uh wall run spirit for this DLC. Okay, I think I want to wall jump here. Okay. This was ground, it was safe. Can I get up there? Secrets. Oh, almost died. Oh, this music. So cool statues. Didn't the fire guards serve the queen? Why would there be a statue of them fighting her? Unless it was either A, training, or maybe this represents after she got possessed. Where do I 
go from here? There we go. Well, I appear to be at the top. Guess I just hop up there. What do the Covenant Souls do? Because that was one of the chains on the Void of Sorrows, huh? Yeah. Yeah! Cool. I didn't really use the uh, no fall damage spirit on my replay. Yeah. <sighs> it's nice to be spoiled again and not have to worry about splattering. Man, with the spin attack boost upgrade and the triple jump, you can pretty much just inflict fall damage on yourself at any time with that. <laughs> like a total dumbass. It's funny. The Dark Betrayal, the history of the Fire Guard. Oh? Vaughn did say it was the darkest chapter of their history. <sighs> what did you guys do? Is it y'all's fault the Black Shadow took over Penumbra? Did y'all, like, pretty much let it have the Queen be like, ah, eh, take the bitch? Oh no, we've made a terrible mistake. And these guys hit hard. Ow! Okay, what was that hitbox? I call shenanigans there. Ruby Studios, what the fuck? Ow, what the fuck? Oh, I didn't see you. Okay, they're still one shot. Oh, another one of you little bastards? Where are y'all coming from? Yeah, eat it. What? Yeah, something's a little fucky with these guys' hitboxes. Okay, I'll take another one. An empty book. When the shadows strike back, the eight guards will hand down the keys, and darkness will light up in flames. So eight keys to collect. That guy walks all day. Friggin' everything. This little shorty. Little baby man. Heal me, please. Oh yeah, you may have noticed I didn't have to pay ore to activate this shrine. That was part of one of the updates. Shrines no longer require offerings to turn on. You just find them and boom, activate them. You now have a safe slash fast travel point. So much wasted ore in that first playthrough. I could afford things so much sooner on the replay. Anything over here does not appear to be. All right, back to the main chamber. Right, remember, don't touch that. That hurts. A lot. Bad, Mka. Touching big, glowy barriers is bad, Mka. You don't, you don't want to do that, Mka. 
far as dream. Do they just have all of the voids here? Like, hey, if you didn't fucking find them in the main game, here you go, asshole. You're gonna need these extra health for the... It's like, here's the souls for the spirit slot upgrades, and here's your health upgrades. You're gonna need them, bitch. The alchemist. Julian Song. This is... Hey, Orain Saw, the one that's fucked up in the journal. Path of victory. Path of pain. Borisa's fate. So these first two floors is going to be all the main game ones. Ah, that's, that's, yeah, Luca's climb, that's the hardest one. Oh, that one is brutal. Fall. Dirt. Duplon sleep. Mm. I'd probably say the second hardest of the bunch. That's like the one you have to wall run start to finish. Oh, it's pain. <laughs> that one is frustrating and hell. If you're a Geraldo, you can kind of brute force. Even on the hardest difficulty, the damage from the lasers is very ignorable. And if you've got the double dash and the triple jump, you can just like... Yeah, I'm just gonna brute force this and not give a shit. <laughs> YOLO! Who think your pitiful lasers can stop me? to decide which doors I want to open, I guess. Don't think we're opening this one. Ooh, what's in here? Ooh, what's in there? Ooh, piece of candy. Gordor the Shifter. Let the trial commence. I'm guessing that stuff's death. Or, well, you know. Damage and reset. Go, 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 go! Clock is ticking! I'm a champion! Have I mentioned I'm pretty good at platformers? <laughs> down. Now let's get that soul. Ah! Okay, so those are checkpoints. They actually have mercy in the DLC. Okay, even with every upgrade, we're not cheating here. Oh god, am I gonna make it? I'm gonna make it. Just gotta not choke here. Whew! I'm a champion! Honestly, even the hardest ones on the base game are a lot easier if you wait till you have, like, you know, 
all these crazy wacky upgrades. Not opening that. War Chronicles, page 65. The Blood Covenant's leader is becoming too powerful. Capturing him is our main objective. General Urkos. Is this Blood Covenant douche the new boss in this DLC? Okay, so... The fourth floor, or I guess the fifth floor, is the, uh... Guardian Souls, and then these top floors use the Covenant Souls. So everything you're collecting here is just keys, literally. Is this... Did I already do a full circle? Yeah. Huh. Wow. All right. Let's pop a door open. Four, the Queen's Wrath. Okay. That's interesting book you got there. We lost thousands of guards. In war, no one is victorious. True that, man. Vario the Invisible. It seems like the five-star ones all have, like, a fire guard statue. And it seems these are the ones with the chains to the seal. I think the statues in each of these are telling a story. I'm starting to think we had a bit of a civil war in the fire guards. <laughs> oh, oh god, it's a moving platform! Ow. Fuck. Okay. Death Perception is not my best friend. Is it any gamer's friend? Checkpoints. Oh, 
Oh, I thought I could fit underneath it. Fuck! Well, that's unfortunate. Damn. Just a second. Bitch! I hate everything. sinking through the platform. Hole in the wall! Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, first try. <laughs> Got my hands a little sweaty. Whoo! Not bad. Next. Open Sasame. Wow, my hand is actually really sweaty after that one. Three, the master. Great is the guilt of an unnecessary war. Pain of Kimeo. Hey, this is a lower star, which means it'll be easier, right? Watch this one kick my ass harder. This will be the one I struggle with the most. It already looks scary. Wall running is not my forte in this game. I'm... That is something I'm not the best at. This game's wall running, I don't know, it just feels so weird to me. I'm... I'm not good at it. Wait, where the hell do I go? Okay, there's a top to that. The camera just... Barely did not go high enough for me to see it. Uh-oh. I think my food's coming back with a vengeance. Triple jump hadn't recharged. Yeah, the triple jump and double dash have a recharge time to them. The double dash is recharged is pretty quick. But the triple jumps, it's a to guess make it not too bullshit. It's got a bit of a cooldown to it before you can do another triple jump. Which I mean fair, I get it. Upon putting the triple jump in the game and realizing how broken it is, I'd probably give it some kind of limiter as well. Save that triple jump. Woo! Don't you do this to me. Uh, 
Oh, the panic is real there. Yes, checkpoint. Woo! Yeah, that, that entire, like, last bend there was just me fucking panicking. <laughs> oh, I should not have survived that. I should not have made that. I'm gonna be real honest with you. Hell yeah! Broken optional upgrades! That sucked. Reset this, even though it lasts a long time. I just want to be safe. this. I still say those last two or three voids in the base game are harder so far. I'm sure this will step up. Plus, you know, on these I can just focus on getting to the end, and there's checkpoints, which is a mercy that the base game voids do not give you. And the base game voids, like I said, you have to focus on also collecting the void souls if you want the upgrades they give. Which you do. You want those void, those spirit slots. They are worth the effort. I think something's getting restless. So how many chains is that I've taken down now? That was the third chain, huh? One, two, three, four, five more. Yeah, it's like, there was eight chains, right? You figure a scene would play once you get, like, halfway or something. You don't have a Covenant Soul. Eh. Oh god. There we go. Weird. Jumping? Yeah. Jumping gets weird in front of doors. It just will not let you jump in here at all. Come on! I can squeeze through that hole! I'm small enough. I'm small. Right, and the doors on this floor use the Guardian Soul, so I can pop two of them open. However, where was that path we opened down here? We opened the door somewhere at the ground level, one of the switches. wonder how many Shadow Fragments I now have. 913. I wonder if it does max at 999 or if it keeps going. I'm curious. Oh yeah, I already went in here. There is more here. Just gotta find the switch for it. Or maybe... Maybe this connects to it. You gotta find the switch for you. Here's where that one switch opened. Well, this is fancy. Gratitude towards the Queen shall be eternal. Let us hope we never suffer such a tragedy again. I'M A MAESTRO! <laughs> well, that's fun. Ooh. Another key. So I'm guessing those will open to the voids that grant me the Covenant Souls, which will let me get to the ones on the top floor, which have the chains to the seal. Hello, friends! Uh, sorry to interrupt your party. But also, fuck you! Ow. You're a cock. I shall 
take your essence. The traitors have fallen. History has been stained. This war shall live in our memory forever. Ho ho. Guess I'm back here. Robbie Badge, an old badge with a strange message engraved on it. Is that just a silly little Easter egg item? Or will this actually end up triggering something later? Well, I found the company logo! Prayer room. Respect the fallen. Alright, is the organ just for fun, or do you actually have to play something to activate something? In which case, oh god, I'm doomed. Oh, are these just like the doors in the fire keep, or it's just a bunch of sealed places you can't get into? Library, only select members of the clergy allowed. Keep quiet when entering. Fire graves. Here lies the corpses of the elite team. Oh right, that was water, not ground. I'm not a smart man. My mama says otherwise, but my mama be wrong. <laughs> uh. Alright, I think we've got time for one more void. Maybe we can squeeze two more. We'll see. Alright, 52 minutes. We'll squeeze one more at least, damn it. I still love how there's just, like, no animation for the running. He just, like, slides forward. And then just the tippy taps of his little feet. It amuses me. Second floor. We get to the third floor. Fourth floor is when we get to the new content. Okay. Fuck platforming! Cheat! Pop that soul! I'm sorry, whoever slow you are, but I need you to open a door. Because weird dark fantasy games always start using technology that runs on souls, because they're fucking lunatics. The strongest blade ever made, forged by gods, with only one purpose. To destroy the shadows. Hey, can I get those? I have been wondering if there's a stronger sword in the DLC. Torix Odyssey. Odyssey, you see. Odyssey, you see. Odyssey, you see. Odyssey, Odyssey. Brendan, bun, 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 I've also been replaying a bit of Mario Odyssey lately. I just felt like revisiting that game. Good times, good times. This looks like not good times. This is gonna be tough. Thank you, Triple Jump, you lifesaver. I am so glad I found you. Weird door. 
that key number three, I think. Is uh, there no checkpoint here? Alright, we're getting back to base game bullshit. Where if you fuck up, it's back to the start. And oh wait, no, there was a checkpoint over there. Like, only after a few jumps. I think I might prefer the checkpoint to be here. video with me unless I, until I've said Cox in frustration at least once. badly. If I didn't have those secret upgrades, I would not have made that. Whoo, mama! That one also resulted in sweaty hands. Whoo! Oh, that was awesome, though. Covenant Soul, and two more Guardian Souls. If I can do two more of these, it should probably get me two more keys and two more Covenant Souls. Actually, are there only two? Oh, no, wait, here's a third one. So I'm still missing a Guardian Soul somewhere. Here. But, uh, yeah, this DLC area is pretty cool so far. It's pretty much just pure we focused on the platforming challenges, but those are kind of honestly where this game shines. The exploration and the platforming. The combat is honestly... I mean, they fixed hitboxes and controls to where it handles much smoother and better, but the combat isn't the game's strong point. It's decent. It's It does its job pretty well. I mean, I guess you could call it more intense combat than most platformers, but this is definitely a platformer at its heart and soul. And a damn good one, I will say. I I am having a great time with this. But I'm going to leave that there for now. So until next, everybody, you all have a great evening and take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.